The Indians in this frozen land tell of a ghost dog which runs at the head of the wolf pack, and they are afraid, for it has more strength than any wolf, more cunning than any dog. No one knows from whence he came, nor why he stays. She's sick. Steady, old boy. Surprise. Molly, Alice, jump up. There we are. Grandpa! What did you bring me? Please, what did you bring me? <laughs> and you, Alice? It's not polite for young ladies to ask. Oh, I see. And you are a young lady now. Well, in that case... <laughs> Come on, Al. Try the blue one. Here in California, we don't know how lucky we are. From all I hear, the world's gone crazy over gold. People in their thousands, from all walks of life, are flocking to Frisco and Seattle, fighting for passages to Alaska. Can you wonder at it, Judge? They say the Klondike River is just stacked with gold. It's all here. You take the train to Seattle, steam pack it up the coast to Skagway. With guts, anyone could do it. They carefully avoid mention of the journey from Skagway to Dawson City. That overland trail is the most heartbreaking in the world. 
Five hundred miles and nothing but rock, snow, and ice. With temperatures dropping to 50 degrees below. I'd give my eye teeth to try. A few years back, I might have been tempted. Fortunately, I have two good reasons to stay at home. Now you're a beautiful dog. <laughs> Manuel, you can clean up now. Everyone's losing their heads. Greed is driving normally sane people to all kinds of folly. Look at this one. Our company in New York has been floated to market steam sledges. <laughs> Imagine the coal they'd have to carry. I like this one. Jump over that 500 miles by balloon. <laughs> oh, oh, hot air. <laughs> There's only one sure way, Jack, by dog team and sled. That's what the smart guys are trading in now. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Wanted all types of large dog with long hair and able to pull a hundred pound load. Three hundred dollars offered for a husky. Five hundred for a Greenlander. You could really say, at this moment, a good dog is literally worth his weight in gold. Magicians bowed their heads low to the brave boy who had saved them all from the dragon. And that's all for tonight. Time for bed now. Oh, no. <laughs> Grandpa, hmm? where's the Klondike? Far away to the north, little ones. Reindeer in the woods and wolves. <laughs> Is Uncle Jack going there? I don't think so. It takes a special kind of man to make that journey. A very special kind of man. Come on now, sleepyheads. Come on, off to bed. You coming, boy? Oh, very well, old boy. You keep guard. No night excursions, though. Come on, come on. Come, come, man. I don't have a light. Manuel! What's his name? Buck. You like him? Like? I don't have to like the beast. I buy them. Forty dollars. Hundred. Seventy-five. Uh... Please. Ah! <laughs> 
you just be afraid of me. Stand a chance. Crawl home busted, most of them. The ones that don't die up there. But some will strike it rich. That's what brings them, John. Forget it, Pete. I never said nothing. All right. Say it now. Okay. There's some making fortunes, picking nuggets the size of a man's fist out of the ground. Huh. Coming back rich. Don't we even get the try? It's a sucker's game, Pete. We'll get our share. Don't you worry now. Moving mail, hauling supplies. I'm through with gold. Mr. Thornton, better bring your dogs aboard. <laughs> okay, give me three up. Is that right? Excuse me, please. Thank you, Come sir. on, dogs. Mush. Mush. Here, I'll take him. <laughs> this one. Name is Spitz. He's the lead dog, and he knows it. But he looks about as green as everyone else in this town. Huh. He looks okay to me. My guess is he's never been north of Seattle. Let's hope he can take it. time he's seen snow. You better get used to it, dog. There ain't much else in Alaska. Gentlemen, gentlemen, <laughs> I have a portfolio of maps here. No, thanks. A maps of hitherto unknown territory. A newly discovered gold fields. No. Nope. Oh, well, then. How about a special one? Huh? A shortcut route to Dawson City? Beat it. 
Skagway don't change. It always was a place to load up quick and get on out of. <laughs> Spitz! Hey, he's one dog we're gonna have to watch. Good boy. I'll get you some food. dogs picked up this time. Going to be a rough ride, Thornton. That's how come we got the mail contract. There wasn't nobody else wanted any part of that winter run to Dawson City. 600 miles of nothing. You can have it. Figure to stay up there and look for gold. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what we'll be looking for. We'll look for the man who's looking for gold. I'm going to sell him whatever he wants to buy. Only way to win these days. Here you are, Doc. Looks like we need another dog. Maybe two or three for this load. I'll see what I can dig up. House dog, huh? Good. Come on! Hi! Up now! 
now, Dolly. That buck is settling down. Can be a good dog. He's got to pull his weight. Yeah! Buck's not eating. Still limping a good bit. Hey, Buck! Don't you want your supper? That's better. Let's have a look. He's sore. What are you going to do for him? Let's see if I can make him a set of shoes. He needs a little help till his feet toughen up. He's still a greenhorn. A damn spitz. He's still in Buck's bed. Get out! Get to your own bed! Time Bug learned to look after himself. Bob! Where's that dog? Well, I'll be dead. <laughs> Would you believe it? He's waiting for his shoes. <laughs> All right, Tenderfoot. Let's see how you do with these. Around the other side of the chunk the sundown. Go on! I Make way! Make way for the mouse land! Come on! How long have you been out from Skagway? Six days! You are lucky. It took us 35 days to get here. Keep moving, Spitz. Make way there. It's all right for them with a sled. Keep going, otherwise you'll never get to the top. Climb! You must. 
near the top. We're gonna camp here tonight. My buddy's all tuckered out. About halfway, I reckon. I never thought I'd see so many people in this goddamn place. Most of them won't make it, poor devils. So, dogs would be restless tonight. He's got another one. That damn spitz. Come on, dogs. Move! Uh, move! Come on. Come on, dogs. Let's make some time. What the hell is wrong with you today? Ah! Hey. Hey. I'm coming home! Winter, you're damn lucky to be alive. Move! Spence! Get out! Leave go! You're a bloodthirsty son of a bitch, ain't you? But better watch out for him. He's one mean dog. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Buck, what the hell's wrong with you? Dad! What is it? What's wrong with the dogs? Maybe they've had enough for today. I have. Okay, let's make camp. Okay. Come back here! What the hell's wrong with them? Snow Fox. Oh, my God. 
to learn. He learned. Yeah, and we should wait until we got to Dawson. Now we got no lead dog. Ah! We've got a lead dog. Ho! <laughs> He's gonna be all right. <laughs> Police serving as chief magistrate, commander in chief of this town, and I suppose home and foreign secretary. I'm John Thornton. That there's Pete Smith, government mail carrier from Skagway to Dawson. Good to see you, gentlemen. Hello, glad You're to know the you. First new faces in three months since the weather closed down. Hi. I'll take your guns. You. Marty's Thank rule you. in Hello. Dawson City: Hi. no guns allowed. Hi. So if anybody gets killed, it's by their own stupidity. Hi. Come on inside. Warm your feet. Have a shot of hooch while my men take care of the mailbags for you. Uh, John, I'd better take care of the dogs. Right. Hey! Miss Carpe, no red. Come on. Come on. Oh, first out of the bed. Unusual at first, isn't it? Oh, who's your boyfriend in Calliope? What's your boyfriend? It's from my mother. Please, give Molly me my letter. Yes, yes, yes that's, that's me. Sit. 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 Mister, mister. Sit. Dogs. You want to sell the dogs? Gold. Plenty of them. Gold, dogs. That's gold. Get out. You bastards. Nobody's gonna eat my dog. Mister, mister, I take care of your dogs. Okay. When can you start back to Skagway? Not for a week at least. Them dogs is plumb wore out. I could do with a rest myself. You know, I can't pay you at this end. You'll be paid at the post office in Skagway after the round trip. Sure. I signed the contract. But I can get you a bonus for getting back there quick. I need to alert the government about our position here. We're running out of food and supplies. According to this, there's a hundred thousand stampeding their way here from all corners of the world. If they aren't stopped, they'll starve to death. Thanks. I've been dreaming about this. Where are your dogs? Uh, under God. Boy, this town. They'd eat anything. How soon can you leave, Thornton? You 
your price. All right. Three days. If I put them dogs into harness before then, they're liable to die on me. Oh. Hi. Meet says. Says we she McPherson in full. <laughs> Get yourself a meal and have a look around the town. The dogs will be okay with me. <laughs> Just be damn sure you keep an eye on them. That there's a good dog team. <laughs> sure. What's the matter with you, boy? <laughs> you think you're some kind of a house dog? <laughs> All right, come on then. Bye. Now, ladies, this is a right you have to do better than that. Bound to your part. One, two, three, one, three. I've never seen so many people. More are coming all the time. Tell you, Pete, if this is the promised land, I'll take the open trail. Buck's got the right idea. Got to steer clear of strangers, especially in gold country. Come on, John. Let's go and have some fun. Hey, it's the mailman. Come on in, boys. This is my place. You won't get cheated here. Uh, speaking for myself, I could use a snort. There's a man who knows what he wants. How about the dog? Well, if he don't mind, I don't. The rest of the animals are mostly two-legged. Come on. Oh, whiskey. <laughs> I uh, haven't had any kind of whiskey to speak of since last fall. A dollar glass or two dollars a glass? What is the difference? He is a dollar glass drinker. I believe we'll take the two dollar variety. Three specials. Here's to your luck. May you strike it rich and find it easy. Well, no, I ain't looking for it. If you mean gold. I mean gold. And if you ain't, you must be the only one in the Yukon with a grain of sense. Besides me. That puts me in good company, don't it? Black Britain wants you. Who's he? The sharp dress at the corner table. Big operator. Maybe he plans to put a deal away. Maybe later. He wants to talk to you. I am talking. To the lady. You heard. Beat it. You might have just made an important enemy. You might be right. Alouette, gentil alouette. Alouette, je te fumerai. Alouette, gentil alouette. Alouette, je te fumerai. Je te plumerai la tête. Je te plumerai la tête. Et la tête. Et la tête. Alouette. Alouette. Oh. Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai, je te plumerai le nez, je te plumerai le nez, et le nez, et le nez, et la tête. Fuck you, fool! Don't leave me alone. Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai, alouette, gentil alouette. Je te plumerai la bouche, je te plumerai la bouche, et la bouche, et la bouche, et le nez, et le nez, et la tête, et la tête, alouette, alouette. Fuck! Is that dog safe? Nobody riles him up. I hear you plan to go back to Skagway in three days. 
That's right. I'll make you a deal, Thornton. Forget the mail contract. Work for me. Calling liquor. Whiskey's gonna be worth a hundred dollars a bottle. Champagne. Sorry. Got anything against booze? Yeah, I can't stand this stuff. Against me? Nope. I'll buy a team. It ain't for sale. Okay. One piece of advice. What's that? Calliope. Don't try sticking any claims. She's kind of fond of those nuggets of gold in her necklace. She'll go on collecting them so long as she can keep her place open. And that means me and my boys helping to keep the peace. Follow me? Move on, mister. My dog don't like the way you smell. What did Burden want? Nothing much. Say, why don't you sell me some more of your good two-dollar whiskey? Come on, Yeah? What's that? Here they are. Right. Ten. Twenty. You get the rest of the money. When you deliver the stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I came north, and I brought with me 500 hot water bottles. I figured these men didn't have any women to keep them warm at night. I sold the bottles for $50 a piece. <laughs> Next summer, I aimed to build a real hotel. Two stories tall, with hot water in the baths, and linen, and burnt china on the dining tables, sheets on the beds, and crystal chandeliers. You know, Calliope, you're a woman after my own heart. Guess I'll turn in. I'll take Bart back to the stables and feed him. All right, Pete, I'll be along. Me and says will keep going. Good night, ma'am. Sleep well, Pete. Good night, John. Come on. Come on, Buck. Hey, partner. Shall I can nip? Warm me up. Best cognac in dust. Yes? Sure. <coughs> hey, come here. Let's not make fools of ourselves, Thornton. You have absolutely no proof 
I'm afraid that's true, Thornton. These two French Canadians work for him. They ain't no place in town. I fired them yesterday. Drunks. Untrustworthy. Bad luck, Thornton. <laughs> you can't do that in here. Sue me. What the... All right. Put it down here. Dog for sale in this town. Not a chance of chasing him. I'm sorry. Whoever stole them dogs has run them halfway to Skagway by this time. Spoiling a damn good team. Where ain't gonna get them back, John. Nor our money for the mail contract in Skagway. Easy, boys. You could use a drink. We can't afford a drink. Me, I'm going to invest what I got left in a pick and a panigan. We could find gold. We've got as much goddamn chance as anyone else. Give it a try. Lots of luck to you, partner. Pull! You one lazy, good-for-nothing dog! Mush! 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 Where will you cut all the timber? Up the river. Then we can float it out when the ice breaks this spring. Remember, Johnny, I get first pick of that lumber for my new hotel. Then have your money ready. This deal's strictly business. I miss you like hell. Right off the ground. Plucked them off the bushes like gooseberries, I hear. We've come all the way from Arkansas. And we ain't going back till we take a wagon load and go. We've got to be rich. I'm going to ride this contraption to Dawson City, stake my claim, find a fortune, and ride back a sea all the way. Yippee! Out of the way, yippee! Does he, folks? I'm staking a claim. Come on, pull! Yeah! Smash! <laughs> come on, come on, folks! Dogs, you want dogs? I got dogs! Uh, you want dogs? I got dogs! <laughs> I got dogs, see? <laughs> dogs! <laughs> see what it says there? Sale by auction! Auction! <laughs> Mercedes, wait for me. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a 
I wonder. What's the idea, Mercedes? Just thinking, everyone. My idea is this. If we have those doggies, we can start now for Dawson City. Before spring, though? Exactly. That way we can beat these stupid people by months and months. Now tell me, what do you think of that? Isn't she the smartest? I don't know. It takes experience to have a dog. Ah, if I have a husband who's a tenderfoot, at least I have a brother who's a man. You know how to handle dogs, don't you, Hal? Well, you always had a dog at home when you were little. Roll up, roll up, you lucky people. Yes, yes, here they come. It's your lucky day, my friends, and your luck is my own good luck. The most marvelous dogs you'll ever find in Alaska. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me come up. 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 Across the frozen north. Why, well, here's some of you no. laughing. Leave me, folks. I you laugh. I don't laugh. Oh, shh. There's I nothing wrong with those dogs that a short rest won't put right. And I should know. I've been handling sled dogs for 20 years. Now, there is the word of an expert. There. You don't know a thing. <laughs> Did you hear that, folks? Now, what am I bid? Quite right. Now, who will start the bidding? $200. $200? Oh, dear lady, you must be jesting. Two hundred? Why, this magnificent creature is alone worth three times that amount. Well, a thousand two hundred, then. Now, that's all right for a starter. Bid. Two thousand United States dollars. Two thousand United States dollars. Bid. Two thousand two hundred. Two thousand two hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Five hundred. Bid. Two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. Yeah, marvelous. Two thousand eight hundred. Two thousand eight hundred dollars. Oh, please. Yeah, come on, bid. Please. Three thousand dollars, and that's my limit. <laughs> Three thousand dollars goes to that dear little lady in the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> what the hell are you staring at? Haven't you ever seen a sled before? Now, listen, ma'am. I'd say you've got a right tidy load on there as it is. I wouldn't tote that stove along if I was you. However in the world do you expect me to manage without a cooker? Excuse me. You think it'll ride? Why shouldn't it? <laughs> no, no. Don't pay any attention to them, darling. There now. We're ready. Come on, mush. 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 Whoa. Lead them. I'll try. What's Come wrong on. with them? Good doggy. Come on. Lazy oh, oh, oh. brutes, that's what they are. I'll show them. <laughs> Get up, blast you. <laughs> It ain't that I give a damn, but for the sake of them dogs, you can help them a mighty lot by breaking out that sled. Its runners are frozen fast. Hmm. Come on now, baby, he's right. Throw your weight again the G-pole, to the right and to the left. That'll break it out. Let's try it. Push! My dear, now, if you really want to go to Dawson City, you better listen to what these men are telling you. They've got experience. Take these. Right. Oh, this. Ooh, and this. Oh. What? Uh, I can't say any sense of going to Dawson to get rich. If I'm going to have to dress as a washerwoman. Come on now. Get up. Oh. We don't need this. Up. 
Get rid of that. Now, let's go. Push. Now that you'll be able to pull it. Up. Be nice. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, boys. Out we go. Push. Come on. Come on. Push. 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 Uh, frozen. Can't you go any faster? If you tried walking instead of riding, we might be able to go a little faster. You fasten your end down. Catch me. No, I don't want to stand here all night. Oh, you are a cop. Anyone can put up a tent. Now, what have you done? Oh, get away. Oh, you horrid dog. Now what's the matter? It's no good. The poor fellow's all done in. Can't pull anymore. Oh. Get up. What's the matter with him? Come on, boy, get it up. It would help me. He's, you uh... Get your lazy carcass out of that sled and walk. There's no need to attack me just because you can't handle a few dogs. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! <laughs> And you are going to walk. Oh. Get out of that sled and walk like the rest of us. Come on. Come on. Cold. Easy. What's that? Wolves, I'd say. Wolves? Yeah. Be careful now, Mercedes. Careful. They're out there. I know they're out there. Just far enough away so we can't see them. Oh. Help! Help! Oh. Oh. Do get no! Me. No! Get him! Get him! Oh. 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 Have they gone? I think we should turn back. It's further to go back than to go on. What's that? It's the eyes. 
Is the time for it to break up? Oh, no, it's not. It'd take plain damn fools to try that run. Damn fool luck to make it this far. Where are you going? Mercedes! I, to Dawson. We are obliged for your kindness, mister. Mercedes! Please! You can't go on alone! Come back! It's dangerous! Fools. Johnny, get them back! Don't be an idiot, boy. Don't call me boy! My name is Hal! You go in that lake, you're a dead man. You know what I think? You just want our dogs. You want to steal our dogs! Get up! Up! Hello? You hit that dog one more time, I'm gonna kill you. Go to hell! He's mine! And I'll do what I like with him! I shot four varmints already this morning. One more don't matter none to me. You can't keep us from going to Dawson City! I don't give a damn where you go. But you ain't taking that lead dog with you. Will you sell him to me? He ain't for sale. Yeah. Cut him loose. Don't even think about it, boy. Now. Toss the knife over there. Easy. You... you can go to hell! Sure knows you. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he does. Okay? Huh? Fuck! 
quit it now. I'm all right. He remembers when Pete went in the lake. He figures he's got to keep me from freezing to death. <laughs> he's a good duck. I ain't gonna freeze, Buck. <laughs> it's springtime. <laughs> that animal is one part dog and three parts human. He sure enough did save my life, though. That's the truth. Three more coming down. Sorry about this work, eh? Get those logs hitched up and pull them ashore. Correct. Nope. Must be slipping. Cheating myself of one whole dollar. Well, since we've got the strictly business part over, you ain't really said hello yet. Hello? Johnny! Calliope! Pete! Hello! Hello there, Pete! <laughs> Hey, Welcome back Pete. to Dawson. Where in the hell did he spring from? When did you get in? Last night. Calliope, you get prettier and prettier. <laughs> That's what a winter in the Yukon does for you, Junior. Did you make your fortune? Oh, not exactly. Busted. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. It's enough to stake me for another trip. And next time... <laughs> Pete! Hello! Calliope! By the look of your pearls, you've got most of the gold in Dawson. Sure I have. Stick around, Johnny. I've got some plans. Sir, Pete, how good you to been? see you. I'll stick around. I got plans of my own. Talking about plans? No! Oh! Are you trying to do me a fatal injury? Go on, big baby. Ah. My plans are to get a team of builders and a head builder. A man I can pay good money to, hey. and uh, trust. A fellow who won't keep getting the itch to go off to prospect for gold. Well, if you'll quit scraping the hide off me, uh, 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 <laughs> I'll give it some thought. You're too easy, Mary. Look, Johnny, all around me, guys were digging up fortune. I ain't hit the uh, jackpot yet. But in here, I know I'm going to strike gold with the help of Douglas Charlie. Way back east, there is the old Indian mines. Yellow Moon, they call it. Yellow Moon. I've been hearing stories about Yellow Moon since I first come up here 20 years ago. Injun stories, just rumors. They ain't no rumor. Listen. My ma was a full blood of the stick tribe. When I was a kid, I saw gold that came from a place 15 days out there, in a valley called Frimtari. We're going to find it. We should like you with us. No, I think maybe I'm going to build me a hotel. Well, if you change your mind. So long, Pete. We'll be leaving day after tomorrow. Bye. Well, it's this way, fellas. A gal has to look after what she has. Ain't nobody going to cut my throat. Not a pretty throat like yours. Oh, no, man.
Colin. Aya. Give Come it on. to me. Bed. Bed. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey. Fuck. Get him off. Get him off. Someone grab that dog. He's got to be shot. Nobody's going to shoot that dog, Burton. Not you, not anybody else. And you can keep clear of the lady, too. I'll get you, big man. I'll get you, hand that man eating bastard. I swear, I'll get you. I'll be waiting for you. Come on. Okay, boys, that's enough. Maybe it would be best for a month or two. He's a dangerous man. He means what he says. You want me to pull out? He won't stop till he gets Buck killed. And, well, he might make it tough for me. Let him try. Don't you understand? Burton controls the liquor coming into this town. And I can't run a saloon without the liquor. That's the way you want it. That there's two dollars a glass. Buck. John. Buck's you're pulling his weight. Just three more hills to cross. Come on, push. Right. Push. Oh, jump with fast. Okay. Just over the Nazareth. Range. Can't be much further. Over the next hill. Right. Right. For the past two weeks, there's always been one more hill. I don't think you know where you're taking us. Easy does it, boys. I say we set up camp here and pan this creek. And I say we go on till we find Yaller Moon. And I say we flip for it. Heads we stay here, tails we go on. Fair enough? OK with me. Flip, Charlie. Hey. We stay here. <laughs> you were right. I guess there's no truth in that old Indian legend. It don't really matter a hell of a lot, does it? That's the way, John. Never give up. We'll find gold. Don't you worry. <laughs> when a man's got this, he don't need much else, does he, boy? What's the matter, Buck? That ain't nothing. That's just a wolf. Look! Look here, what's this? <laughs> it's gold! That's what it is! It's gold! It's gold! <laughs> John, come look! Let's yeah, have a look! Now we're really, we're really struck it rich! <laughs>
are over that dog. A fellow would think it was a woman. He's a lot more dependable than most women I've known. So, we set up permanent camp here? Right. Build us loose. We work this river till there ain't an ounce of gold in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's that damn fool dog? Damn this rain. We've been breaking our backs in this creek for a month now. We ain't got ten ounces to show for it. But we get clothes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe this week. Then we'll be rich for all our lives. You really got the bug, Charlie. Every man wants gold, Johnny. We'll be getting snow soon. What's this leading up to, Johnny? I'm pulling out. Your heart ain't ever been in it. I'm gonna go look for my dog. But if I find him or not, I'm going on down to Dawson. I got a hankering to sleep in a dry bed for a change with that pretty crystal chandelier. Johnny! Johnny! Take Miss Charlie's going to stay till he has pay dirt or the river freezes over. I've got nothing against take us, Charlie. But that suddenly seemed like a hell of a place to spend a winter. Hi there. Howdy, Pete. in our goal. Right. Looks like we're going to need it. I wouldn't doubt it. You'd gone and got lost. No, I just got bit by the gold fever, I guess. You struck it rich? Worked my guts out all summer. Got about a hundred bucks to show for it. Save more, Johnny. Come on, to the bar. He's here. Thornton. I've been missing you like... Well, never mind. You'll get a swollen head. This one's on the house. After that, it's strictly business. Same old collide. You've got a nerve hey. coming back here. I come peaceably. I ain't looking for trouble. You brought trouble with you. That dog is a vicious monger and needs to be destroyed. You all know the law around here. That dog is a killer. He tried to murder me. 
That's a damn lie, and you know it. I got proof, Thornton. So you've got a choice. You start running now, you and the cur, and you don't ever show your face here again. Or he goes on public trial before these gentlemen here. Gentlemen? <laughs> We've seen the evidence. Look at the mongrel. You can tell he's wild. Sir, just a minute, sir. Let's hear from the defense, sir. What defense? The dog attacked me. Somebody get out of the Mounty office. Get a rifle. Let's have a trial. Trial? No, listen to them. You think I'd let a bunch of bums like you sit in judgment over the best sled dog that ever came to this godforsaken place? He's worth twice as much as any one of you drunken slobs. Come, come, sir. We won't have that, sir. No personal abuse, sir. Get the gun. Let's put an end to him. He'll On the other him. hand, sir, if he is the kind of sled dog you say he is, sir, that may be in his favor. Sled dog? Why? Buck can pull a sled with a 500-pound load. That dog can. From a standing start. No dog can do that. For a hundred yards. Impossible. Shut up, Pete. They're bluffing. The verdict is clear. Now let's shoot the mongrel. Shoot the bastard. Here's the I understand baby. there's some trouble Where here. Baby? Sergeant, that's the dog I made the report about. Now do your duty. You call yourself sportsman. Give the dog a sporting chance. Little lady's right, sir. Now there's a contest, sir. That I'd like to see, sir. Thornton has a thousand dollars to say the dog will do it. No, I, I won't bet. Of course not. It's a trick to save the cur. Go on, Johnny. Go on. <laughs> All right. A thousand bucks. I'll match it. But the stakes are higher than that. They are indeed. If he fails to do it, he gets a bullet and I'll give it. If he makes it, you get out of this town and don't never come back. To the inch, sir. We'll mark it here. There it is. 500 pounds, dead weight. To the ounce. Good luck, John. You show him, Buck. Come on. Four to one on Buck. Let's get it over. Right. Come on. You ready, Mr. Thornton? Right. Come on. The dog has two minutes to break the sled out now, Buck. and pull it 100 yards. If you love me, boy. Starting. Good luck, John. Come on, Buck. Now. Bush. Bush. Buck. Bush. It's frozen. It's frozen fast. <laughs> G. Pull, boy. Pull. You can do it. Now. Come on, boy. Mush. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. One minute to go. Mush. Pull. It's moving. Mush, mush. It's moving. Atta boy. Fly a piece. Faster. Faster. Come! Come, damn it! Good dog! Come on, come on! Pull! Go on, Mark! No. Don't stop! Go! 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 Thornton wins the wager! 
Sağ can can. Çok can et. What an event, sir. What a contest. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay you $1,500 for him, sir. $2,000, sir. Oh, damn it. No, sir. Not for all the gold in this damn town. You can go to hell. Very good hell, sir. To you and your father. <laughs> out by a sled and a team of dogs. Where in hell are you going? Just away from this town. Looking for gold, I guess. Don't you understand? I want you to stay here with me. Manage the place. Share it. I wouldn't be no good at it. If I find gold, make a real sure enough strike, I'm getting out of the club deck. You could come with me if you want to. We could go south, maybe by a farm. Yeah, this old fella needs some fields he can run in. Huh? Yeah, green fields, where he can be warm, lie in the sun. I swear to God, I'm never gonna let a bunch of drunken bombs turn him into a day's sport again. Come back soon, Johnny. Oh, wait, take him, John. Oh, John, where are we Marsh! going? Huh? Marsh! Oh, well, well, well. Johnny, you sleeping? No. What's wrong? It's a hell of a place. You'll feel better when we find the old yellow moon. You're sure of that, aren't you? No. Maybe Charlie's got it all wrong. I ain't sure. What suddenly makes a man like you get this craze for gold? I got a hankering to turn respectable. That takes money. He don't seem to approve. Not one little bit. Why is he stopped? What's he seen? What is it? Hello! Anybody there? I wonder who he was. <laughs> that gun must be 50 years old or more. Whoever he was, he left in a hell of a hurry. <laughs> I don't like it here at all. It's kind of spooky. Maybe he was looking for old Yellow Moon, too.
are you doing down there? This is it, Pete. Old Yalamon. It's, it's gotta be. There can't be any place else like this. Any place in the world. It's got to be the best strike ever. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's big enough even for Calliope. <laughs> look at that goddamn nugget. <laughs> Okay, Buck. How about that? Wonderful. <laughs> 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 What's the matter, Buck? There ain't nothing up there. What's the matter, Buck? Let's go. Let's go. 